Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. In this video, what we're going to take a look at is calculating the primary conductors to a parallel bank of transformers. In a previous video, we looked at calculating the primary conductors and secondary conductors for single transformers. In the upcoming video, we're going to take a look at calculating the secondary conductor when we have secondaries paralleled on transformers. But as mentioned today, we're just taking a look at primary conductors going to a parallel bank of transformers. We are going to be referencing this out of the 2015 23rd edition of the Canadian Electrical Code with 26258 sub rule 1 item B in mind for our calculation. So I want to point out we have three different size transformers but all are operating at 600 step down to 480 volt. These are all single phase transformers so we don't need to worry about root 3 in our calculations. Um, so if we take a look at 262581B, it basically states that when we have a parallel conductor or multiple transformers fed from a single conductor, we are going to take all of our rated currents, add them together, and then take 25% of our largest rated current and throw that right on top. We're going to do it slightly differently and we're going to achieve the same result. So first thing we need to figure out is what is the rated primary of each one of these transformers. So we'll start with our 60 kVA divided by our primary voltage of 600 volts. Okay, no root 3 calculation here. As I said, single phase. This gives us 100 amps. Next, we move on to our 40 kVA. Divide that by, again, our 600 volts, which gives us 66.67 amps for rated primary. And for our little 20 kVA, divided by 600 volts gives us 33.33 amps. So there's the right rated primary current of each one of our transformers. Now what we're going to do is a little different. We're not going to add them all up and take 25% of our largest. We're going to apply that right away. We're going to take our largest rated current, which is our 100 amps from our 60 kVA, and we're going to multiply it by 125% right off the bat. So we're going to go times 1.25. That gives me 125 amps. Now all I'm going to do is take the rated primary of my other transformers in the bank and I'm going to add them right in there. They don't get the 125% treatment, I just add them straight in. So we have 125 plus 66.67 plus 33.3. We should end up with a number somewhere around 225 amps. Okay? That is the minimum size that my conductor can be. That's the minimum ampacity of my feeder conductor supplying this group of transformers. So we're going to take that to table two and we're always keeping in mind the termination temperatures. We have a 75 degree termination temperature so we're going to go to our 75 degree column and we are going to select a 4 aught conductor good for 230 amps to supply that group of transformers. As mentioned in the next video we're going to take a look at what happens when the secondaries of our transformers are parallel connected Hopefully this has helped. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.